X431 die gun 5. Got this off of Amazon. Comes with your launch initial codes to register the application, or register the product. Comes with the quick start guide so you can go ahead and get set up. Even send you a free gift card. You can get a 12 volt battery tester or brake fluid uh, tester. Let you know when to change out that brake fluid. I'll give you a close up. Here are the the uh, software that's loaded into the unit. I'll pan through it so you can see. And there's a little bit more on the back here. go through and see everything that comes with it. This is the global kit so it has all of the connectors. Here are the connectors and you see I've checked off making sure that they're actually in the in the box. All right. Let's open it up see what we got. When you get yours, you go on and uh, you'll hit update and go on and register the uh, register the handheld unit uh, so that you get all your updates and downloads. Uh, and you have a button here to upgrade the software. And uh, at a later video, we'll go through the different functions and diagnostic uh, capabilities of it. regular unit comes with a Bluetooth connector normally this is what you'll mainly use along with this extension and then you plug this into the vehicles OBD2 port connect to your Wi-Fi Assure the Bluetooth connection. Once that's secured, you'll be able to check that the connection is actually functioning right. And then you'll be able to go into the diagnostic uh, parts of the application. Let's just go through the parts and see what you will get with it. Aside from the user's manual and the initial startup. And the parts list and the software list and the free gift registration card of course your US, uh, not your USB, your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth dongle and when you're not in, when it's not being used has a cute little holder there makes the whole thing look one solid piece 
Now, when you're not using this connector, because of requirements of the coding or whatever you're doing, it's going to make you use a different port on the vehicle, or the vehicle uh, manufacturer make itself forces you to use a different connector. That's what we have here. What you'll do is you'll find and select the appropriate uh, adapter for your vehicle. You'll connect it here, just like uh, a computer, the old computer printers. I'll take this. This is the Mercedes Benz 14. Use that as an example. Okay, you just line the clips up, slide them in. Tighten down. Now these are powered differently. You know the OBD port or the OBD2 port has normal power. This is to charge the element. This is to power your OBD1 and other hookups. You've got the battery adapter for the car lighter. You plug that into the lighter. It has long fuse inside. It comes with extra fuses. And you'll connect this here. Or you have the battery clamps fuses in each side, extra fuses here, you clap these to the battery leads, and once again, connect it here. Now, the rest of these are the one of many clamps that you get. As you see, you got Toyota, Mazda, Ford, Another Toyota. Uh, the only thing that's missing, and it says that in the ordering instructions, that the Chrysler is missing and the Subaru is missing. Don't know why. Don't ask me. Wasn't involved. I didn't pay for it, so I'm not complaining. Now, Kia, Mercedes Benz, BMW. What's the BMW program is done uh, through the OBD, but this is for the older models uh, where they're deprogramming you need to understand. Now, we also have uh, another Honda, Fiat, and others. Those are all on the list of connectors that I showed you earlier. And once again, they all connect this way to be used with the appropriate vehicle. The other stuff that we have in the box, this is the power cable. So it's USB. So it has the European extension. And the American standard, just plug them in to the backs of there. And with the European, it has two adapt adapter heads. So you have the prongs, you have the uh, three clip. So what you do with these, I'll show you. There's a little button here that you hold in. You put it in place. And there you go. Push the button in, turn it again, and it comes off. And so you can switch these. All right, that's it for all the accessories. And like I said, you only use those when uh, the vehicle requires it for the most part you will be using this unit the Bluetooth connector with the uh, adapter that's it I hope you like the unboxing I hope you enjoy another video where I actually go through some of the functions and put this thing to work and see how good it is if launch is watching and you want to see another video want to send me some stuff to make a video of Love to do that. Look forward to any uh, offers in the future. See everybody else.
put any comments or questions and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible.